Hello everyone, I'm Peter Kedla. On behalf of my family, friends, associates, and community members, I wanna say thank you for joining the Craig team today and forever. Since 1907, Craig has delivered comprehensive care for individuals from around the world. Craig specializes in the rehabilitation of patients with spinal cord and brain injuries. Craig is also a leader of innovative research. All of this is done with knowledge, with passion, energy, and love. Craig is able to do this because of friends like you. As we know, we have life moments. These moments etch our souls and form a memory for a lifetime. Tonight, I'm excited to share one of those moments with you, along with people from around the world. My family is proud to lead the way for all of Craig, our staff, our friends, and our families. I send a special salute to our good friend, Art Seiden, the founder of PUSH. Art, many, many people love you. Thank you, Art, for being a role model in all of our lives. Let's always remember life moments make a difference. Many thanks. We send all of you our love. Happy 20th, PUSH. Let's celebrate. Live from Englewood, Colorado, it's Craig Hospital's PUSH 2021 20th Anniversary Celebration. Here's your host, Kim Christensen. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. You're watching the 2021 Virtual PUSH Gala. It's a benefit for Craig Hospital. I'm Kim Christensen. I'm very happy to be your host this evening. What a year it has been, and it's been that way for everyone. It's also PUSH's 20th anniversary celebration. It is Craig's very first virtual gala, and we're going to make it happen. It is disappointing that we can't be together celebrating in the same room. We promise to make this next hour, though, fun and entertaining. Lots of good stuff. One nice part about doing this this way over the Internet is that Craig has this great big national reach and a virtual event allows us to involve all our friends and supporters from all over the country. So whether you're watching us in Littleton or Los Angeles or wherever, we're grateful. We're so glad that you're tuning in. Tonight is all about showing up for people who have sustained spinal cord or brain injuries since 1907. Craig has empowered lives and worked to ensure bright futures for patients and their families. So much of that care comes directly from you and our generous sponsors for tonight's event. So we have a big thank you to all of tonight's sponsors, especially our presenting sponsor, the Peter Kudla family. Thank you, Peter. You bring us a lot. Special thanks to Ryan Richardson family, to Bette and Jim Schuller, Schuller and the Macarachian family. Anna and John C. and Michelle C. Witten, Dave and Gail Linegar, and the Steinberg family group, and our auction sponsor, G.E. Johnson. Special thanks to Aero Electronics, Centura Health, First Bank, the Anna Floria family, MDC Richmond American Foundation, Ellen Scott, Sintrinsic Investment Council, the 30 Theory O'Leary Foundation, and the Angelina and Gerlando Tree, I'm gonna try it again, Triena family. Got it, vast time, I think. This evening would not be responsible without all of your support, we're so grateful to you. In fact, between push, sponsorships, and ticket sales, we have already raised just over $1 million. We still have a lot more to go. We have some big goals. We are all here virtually tonight. We're gonna to raise money for Craig patients and families of people with spinal cord injuries and brain injuries. If you're a patient or you're a family out there watching, we know how difficult and profound an event like this can be. In addition to this kind of life-changing injury, the treatments, specialized equipment, and long-term care required to give a person back their quality of life is not entirely covered by insurance, and you probably know that. 
the gaps can be financially overwhelming. And that's why we are all here to help. Tonight, we're very excited to announce that we have a $500,000 match that we're gonna try and reach by the end of the night. We're convinced we can do it. Jeff and Sharon Richardson, whose son Brian was a patient here at Craig, have pledged a half a million dollars to patient assistance. There are a few different ways that you can donate tonight. We're gonna give this to you a few times, but first of all, you can pledge your donation by clicking the donate button on your screen or by texting PUSH 2021 If you'd prefer, you can also just pick up the phone and talk to one of our Craig volunteers and call 303-789-8650. If you live in Colorado, you may be eligible for a 25% tax credit on your state income tax when you make a gift of $250 or more. You can also give a gift of stock or make a wire transfer. Give our volunteers a call for all the details on that. So click, text, call, whatever, donate, okay? <laughs> let's get those donations rolling in and let's make that $500,000 match. So before we go any further, I want to introduce our team captain here at Craig, Dr. Jendel Allen Davis, Craig's yes. president and CEO. Jendel, tell us first of all, um, you're hosting us here at Craig, which is so special. Where are we? Well, what do we have going all, on here? Welcome to you and Thank welcome you. to everybody who's out there watching. Thanks so much for joining us, including the folks who are upstairs here yes. in our very <laughs> wonderful hospital watching as well. Kim, we're sitting in the Peak Center or standing in the Peak Center. Uh, the Peak Center is an adaptive health and wellness um, uh, gym. It's for community members, our inpatients, our outpatients, all sorts of folks come in to use it, much like a 24-hour fitness. And in fact, right behind us, you can see we've got some of the typical equipment you see in a gym, you know, weights. You're going to get to see a bike in a little bit. But back here, you see folks working on our functional um, electro, electrical stimula stimulation bikes. And it's, by the way, they've been going for a long time, so I'm well, impressed. I am too. <laughs> not sure I could go that long, no, so that's pretty been darn cool. Really, yeah. really well. Yeah. So let's talk about the importance of this and and having this here and and making this so so everybody can reach it. Yes, you know, so typically, as you know, we're in a ballroom, but COVID has changed lots mm -hmm. in our lives. We're really excited about having the opportunity to do it this way, to bring uh, the magic of Craig into more places. Um, the PUSH celebration itself actually started, and that's why you'd already said it. We're so excited. This is the 20th year that we're uh, doing PUSH. Um, the vision and the um, inspiration of Art Seiden. His wife, Julie Seiden, was a patient here. Mm -hmm. She sustained a horseback riding injury and uh, had a spinal cord injury as a result of that. And I do believe that Art was so both um, moved, inspired, and just encouraged by what happened. Sort of, I, I call it magic, but it's, there's really no magic in magic. It's all of the details that the folks here uh, provide. But Art um, was inspired. He went to Denny O'Malley, the president at the yeah. time, and said, I want to do something special for Craig. And um, he said, you need to have a gala. And here we are, 20 years later, um, celebrating Art's vision. It is his vision. It really is about possibilities yes. after a spinal cord injury or a brain injury. So you serve a lot of people. We do. We and you absolutely reach so do. many people. We so do. we know we have some big goals tonight, and you're going to help us get there. So right now you've hit the point. 20 years, we've got big possibilities, and we're going to make this very memorable, even well, if we're not you. all in thank a you. ballroom. Somewhere. You know, what's funny is that um, we are just shy of $20 million. And how cool is that to think, here we are, 20th year, <sighs> we 20 million. We can do this. We okay. can do this. And knowing what it does for folks, we're really excited. And thank you again. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Jantel. We're going to bring her back again. You know, over the past 20 years, PUSH has raised a lot of money, and we're really grateful for all of that money. We have other important people we'd like to introduce you to. Um, as we mentioned, 20 years, and we're going to make this happen. There's a new face at Craig, Serena Brusco. She took on the Craig Foundation presidency just weeks ago. She was formerly vice president of development and marketing at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. So Serena has an impressive background and we're really excited to introduce her more in the future. But for now, we'll say welcome. We're glad you're here. Thank you, Kim. And like you, I also grew up in the Denver area and really have had long standing respect and admiration for the reputation of Craig and what Craig makes possible for people. But now being on this side of seeing how it all comes together, 
I can attest that the 10 days that I've been here at ten Craig, oh ten, my goodness. 10 full days, um, every conversation in the office or in the hallway or in the Peak Center really does center all around what is going to make a patient most successful and a real dedication and a true commitment to our patients' families and their graduates. And that feels um, like a real alignment in my own personal values. Yeah. So You're going to have so many good stories. So Serena, thank you so much. We're thank excited you. for you and the new possibilities in this new position. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, throughout the night, we're going to be hearing some of the stories from Craig's friends from around the country. These are graduates and families who have directly benefited from your generos generosity. And some of them are familiar faces. You're going to recognize them. Right now, let's hear from our 2017 Inspiration Award winner, Kelly Johnson, from way up in Thor Thermopolis, Wyoming. Hi, I'm Kelly Johnson. I am the 2017 Inspiration Award honoree. I sustained a TBI on December 24th, 2010 in a skiing accident. I was blessed to rehabilitate at Craig beginning of 2011. My husband and I work with the ski industry on a ski safety campaign. I know that we as a family wouldn't be where we are today without the amazing care that I received at Craig. I wanna thank everyone who is supporting Craig tonight and let you know that your contribution makes a huge, huge difference to families like ours. Thank you, Kelly, for a wonderful story and a great example of how your efforts have directly helped the patients and their families who have gone through Craig. Special thanks to Arrow for sponsoring Kelly's story. And now it's time to say hello to Craig's longtime friend and supporter, one of the most generous entrepreneurs and philanthropists in the Rocky Mountain region. This year's push chairperson, you know him, you love him. Please welcome Peter Cudliff. Here he comes. Long time. Yeah, we did it. You did it. I'm glad you're here it's, because this it's is important blessing. to you. Absolutely. And, and the deal with this, just because you made an entrance, I've got to get uh, to this She first. got to it right away. <laughs> okay. The bottom line is that uh, we started the Flamingo deal this past week at Craig, and we've inspired the whole hospital. It's been loaded with decorations, and it's a unique life, and I'm blessed uh, to bring it to the hospital. I started a long time ago uh, meeting a young lady by the name of Jenny Schroeder, who was a world-class skier. In 1985, she worked for me. And then I had the great privilege of meeting Art Seiden and Julie. Yeah. And let's say they made an impact on me. So that's what my goal is today. And that's why you're so committed to this place. You know what difference it makes in people's lives. Uh, all my friends and family, we know what it makes a difference. Yeah, it's known worldwide and for that very reason. So flamingos make flamingos. an entrance. Flamingos. Like Peter makes an entrance because there are over the top option items. That's why it ties in perfectly with the flamingo because I think you have a trip to Mexico you're gonna tell us about, right? There's a spectacular trip to Mexico that I know you know something about. Yes. And it's truly amazing. Villa Montecito, situated on one of Mexico's most beautiful beaches, just outside of Puerto Vallarta. The Macarachian family donated this spectacular package. You'll enjoy seven nights in this beautiful villa with 12 suites. You can bring all your friends. The home includes an infinity pool, spa, attentive staff, and more. I want to go but I gotta know how to do this. How do I bid? What do I do? What do you think? <laughs> it's an auction. It's open until the program is over. To see the details and bid, just click on the auction items on your screen, browse all of the items and bid online now. And I hear we have some really good stuff. 
off the charts. Uh, because otherwise, Peter, you wouldn't be here. You know something? They got two outfits that look just like us. I know. Look at us. We called each other. We're twinning. Okay, this whole virtual event is meant to be really interactive tonight because, you know, maybe you have a fling mingo in your life. Uh, so we're not all in the same room, but we want to see some of your pictures. Um, Pull out your flamingo um, and share it with the program tonight. We want to see selfies, do we not? Take a selfie and send it to us at the number on the screen. We'll put your beautiful faces up on the front of the camera. Include your name with your text. Yeah, we want your name, right? Come Absolutely. On. I know. So, Peter, um, you and your flamingo stick around, okay? I promise. <laughs> Take your friend. <laughs> Bring him back, or her, or him, her, I don't know. I don't know how to tell what a flamingo. Earlier, patients at Craig had a chance to make their own memories and participate in the push excitement. Through the generosity of sponsor Berg Simpson, we passed out celebration boxes to Craig patients. And this program is also being streamed to all of our patient rooms tonight. Plus patients and their caregivers and Craig staff members, they're being treated to a really special dinner this evening. We know that the patients and the staff who are working so hard appreciate the support of donors like Berg Simpson and donors just like you. Now let's hear from a couple more patients. Hello everyone and thank you for watching the Push Gala. Um, my name's Alex Goldmeyer, so I am a 2018 Craig graduate. I had a spinal cord injury while skiing. Um, unfortunately, I hit a tree, leaving me paralyzed from my chest down. I am T4. And uh, Craig, what Craig means to me is uh, opportunity. You know, when my injury occurred, I didn't think I'd be able to pursue my dreams and uh, go after graduate school, live independently. And truly, Craig has made this possible. They showed me that a life after injury is possible. Um, I'm currently in graduate school studying my doctorate in clinical psychology, and I just uh, received the Craig Alumni Scholarship, um, educational scholarship, and um, Craig really has just made me be able to make things possible. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you all the donors. It, it truly means the world and you're impacting lives um, more than you know. So thank you so much. Leisure, and I am a Craig graduate. After sustaining a TBI, the Craig interdisciplinary team helped me understand what a TBI is and how to achieve independence. While I experienced a physical injury, my entire family experienced the emotional and mental piece of the injury. The Craig family guided us through the daily challenges and successes to live the modified life of a TBI survivor. Without the professional direction and support of the Craig family, we would not have been able to navigate the challenges to live life as we know it. At Craig, everything is possible. Thank you, Craig, and thank you, Craig supporters. Thank you to Centura Health for presenting Alex's story and First Bank for sponsoring Mark's story. Both of their stories and successes can be tied directly to what Craig calls its culture of care. It's a way of life here at Craig, and it extends far beyond a therapy mat or wheelchair class. Craig's culture is of care and of teaching patients an entirely new way to live a rich and fulfilling life. And when someone sustains a spinal cord injury or brain injury, oftentimes it is a life-changing event, not only for the patient and their family as well. Living with a new identity of a person with a disability can be overwhelming. And while a typical healthcare approach may cover the basics of mobility, cognition equipment, it can't even begin to address the profound impact an injury can have now on a family and how it goes beyond living every day, every day after an injury. And that's where Craig comes in, and it's what makes Craig such a special place. The highly skilled professionals at Craig understand the gravity of every patient's unique situation. As you will see, their skills and compassion 
can help change lives. Take a look. Following a brain or spinal cord injury, every aspect of a patient's life is affected. Beyond the physical ramifications, these catastrophic injuries impact a person's economic, psychosocial, and emotional well-being. Craig Hospital delivers a range of culture of care programs that provide whole person, customized care, far beyond what you would find at other facilities. Leisure time activities give life fullness and promote physical and mental health. Craig's therapeutic recreation program, the largest in the nation, helps patients and their families re-engage with life. Craig's certified therapeutic recreation specialists introduce or re-expose patients to sports, recreation, or leisure time interests to help them improve, maintain, or restore physical strength, cognition, and mobility. Each year, we offer more than 700 opportunities to Craig patients to engage in outdoor recreational activities, arts and crafts, water sports, and community outings. Craig's horticulture therapy program uses gardening and plant-related activities to improve the well-being of our patients. Our indoor and outdoor gardening spaces are utilized for patient treatment and serve as welcoming places for all who visit. Craig's Adventure Program offers opportunities for patients, alumni, and their families to explore options for travel, sports, and outdoor adventure in a supportive environment that allows for self-discovery and growth. Patients gain hands-on experience using adaptive equipment, traveling, and advocating for themselves. Craig's Adventure Program events range from local cycling rides to ski outings to scuba diving trips. An injury can threaten to derail the educational process of our younger patients. The school program empowers teens to continue their high school studies at Craig. Students work closely with our credentialed teachers who provide one-on-one -on -one instruction with appropriate accommodations and modifications. Before discharge, the Craig teachers create a school transition plan to make the return to school as seamless as possible. The Don and Melba Rugg Assistive Technology Lab offers our patients the latest software and technology on the market to help them be safe and independent. The team, made up of specially trained occupational and speech therapists, provides hands-on education and training about technological resources for patients. Craig's goal is to equip patients to communicate with family and friends, increase their independence to control their environment, and achieve their work and education goals. A patient's return to work offers enhanced financial security, as well as deeper community connections and life satisfaction. Craig's community reintegration specialists apply their expertise to assess patients' capacity to return to work, volunteering, or school, educate patients about their available resources, and provide coaching and the adaptive technology patients need in order to be successful and confident. Staying healthy is work for anyone. For people living with a spinal cord or a brain injury, the task is even more challenging. For this population, minor health concerns can signal or lead to serious health issues. Craig's award-winning Nurse Advice Line is the only phone-based care and education resource in the nation that provides specialized healthcare information to people living with spinal cord and brain injuries, their family members, and their healthcare providers. The Nurse Advice Line is a free service, open to all, regardless of current or past patient status.
Craig's Rehabilitation Engineering Department is managed by two full-time engineers who work in conjunction with clinicians to design, develop, modify, and apply tools and technology to meet patient needs. The department troubleshoots problems related to wheelchairs and mobility, and each equipment modification incorporates evaluation, design, and training to meet the unique needs of each person. While life-changing, these innovative interdisciplinary programs are generally not covered by patients' insurance. If they are, it's often at a minimal level. These culture of care programs are available to our patients only through the generosity and compassion of donors like you. The culture of care programs that you will not see anywhere else but Craig. So we want to also say thanks to PUSH Chairman Peter Kudla for presenting that story. As always, Peter doesn't do anything without making an entrance. So he is joining us now, not with his flamingo. He ditched the flamingo and he decided to take advantage of some of the cool equipment here at Craig Hospital some amazing stuff and he even ruined his hair by putting on a helmet because you're doing it the right way, man. <laughs> okay, that's an entrance. You changed. You even changed clothes. I just did 20 miles. Oh, you <laughs> didn't break a sweat? No? Not a sweat. Tell me what that is that you just came in on. It's a therapeutic recreational hand cycle. That's nice. And you know what else? I have some big news. How big? Big. Big. My friends, <laughs> Bet and Jim Schuler, have made a $250,000 matching Woo! gift to push support the culture of care programs like therapeutic recreation. I'm excited to say we have already met the challenge yeah. and will receive the $250,000. This money will be used to buy equipment a van for patient transport, patient equipment scholarships, nice. adaptive equipment like the hand cycle. 250,000. 250 Gs. Good people. Awesome. Good people. Craig needs to raise $9 million for these funds each year. And so there are a few different ways you can donate tonight and help them meet that goal. It's a big goal, but we know we can do it. You can always pledge your donation clicking the donate button on your screen or by texting PUSH 212021276278 or you can just call 303-789-8650. The volunteers there will talk to you over the phone. We know we can do that and the number 303 789-8650. Okay, I know you're all watching remotely from all your computers and telephones. We want you to see, we want you to see pictures of yourself. So we're asking you to send your photos of how you're enjoying this <laughs> year's uh, push event. <laughs> Look at you. Oh you yeah, that was this morning. One. I was in the backyard. Yeah, there you go. We've got Jenny and Mark. Look at them. Cocktails outside. Brian, Sharon, and Jeff, love you. Ah, look at them. And Carrie George with Cheryl and Scott Hefner. They're having a cocktail, enjoying this. Ken. Ken, Kelly, baby, it. mix it up. <laughs> and Joe and Nan. Oh, that's great. And oh, oh you got a special and shout Angie, out. Angie, I love you. Thank you so very much for joining us. <laughs> How about that? Peter gets his own. And Lauren and Jim, oh, that's great. I think they're even holding something up that says Craig on there. And Allison's dog. <laughs> so you see, Craig Therapist. I think there's too many cookies in that box. <laughs> too many cookies in them. We want to see your pictures because we know you're out there. And we'd love to, like you said, name the name there. Put your name on the screen. Maybe you want to tell us where you're watching from. That'd be great. Um, share your photos with us. Just text them to us, 562 nine seven two eight five six seven and um are you gonna change again well maybe maybe okay all right <laughs> we're also going to hear from two past push honorees reagan linton and colin heffern hi 
Hi, I'm Reagan Linton. I am a professional actor, director, and theater artist. When I was injured almost 20 years ago, I thought my life as a professional theater artist was over. And it was Craig that got me back up and taught me that I could absolutely still be a performer. I just had to master my new instrument, which I have now done and now perform all over the country. Uh, so you as supporters of Craig are basically saying that when bad things happen, that's not the end. There's still value in human life and we just have to get creative and find new ways to move forward. So thank you so much for your support. Hello everyone, I'm Colin Heffern, a Craig graduate and active volunteer. I was injured in the fall of 2004, doing a belly flop into a pile of leaves from a low tree branch outside of my dormitory at Colorado State University. I then spent three months at Craig doing rehab, relearning how to get back on my feet and regain independence. I now work as a landscape architect and project manager for the National Park Service working on different planning projects at parks all across the country. I also am an active volunteer at Craig, leading a bi-weekly class for individuals with high spinal cord injuries. It's a blast. I just wanna thank you for watching this, for your generosity, and for continuing to support Craig Hospital. Reagan and Colin are both great examples of how Craig can change someone's life after an injury. A special thank you to the Anna Flory family and Ellen Scott for bringing us those videos. And congrats to you for doing so well, both of you. Uh, don't forget to check out the fabulous auction items sponsored by GE Johnson. We have some really awesome items, 140. One of them, a perennial favorite, a golf tournament at Sanctuary, donated by Dave and Gail Linegar. This is a spectacular course in Sedalia. It's never open to the public. You win this package and you can bring 100 of your closest friends or business partners for a day of golf. You will have exclusive use of the course, including practice facilities and golf carts and it's memorable, it's special, special. So please bid, and to view all of the items, just look at, look at the link on your screen. We're really excited. The gifts are already coming in from so many of you. So maybe you find an auction item or something else, but we wanna give a shout out. Look at Gentel donating, of course. Ellen, Steve, Margot, Christine, Margaret, Laura, all of you. Um, dear, dear friends for Craig, and we want to thank you. So don't forget, you can make your gift any time during this program, or even if you're watching the recording at a later date, you can still do it. You just click on the screen. It's not that hard. Dr. Jendel Allen Davis is back with us, and um, we just saw those donations, which is great, but we talked about the culture of care programs. you got a unique approach here at approaching those things at Craig, refocusing people's lives and giving them a way to find new purpose, if you will. Yes, yes, you know, it's interesting. Um, when you think about what it re what's required in terms of rehabilitation from these particular injuries, what we like to think about is uh, enabling folks to do the things they used to do, only right. differently. Oh, but different. also being sort of thinking about this through a holistic perspective, which is why, as you just saw in the Culture of Craig video, uh, Culture of Care uh, programs video, you saw so, so many of the cool things that we actually do um, provide for patients. And one of them we're going to have a chance to chat about right now, which music wasn't on there. Yeah, and w which wasn't in the video. I mean, music, this universal language that really helps injured patients to get back. To all, in all sorts of ways, not just um, regaining their cognitive and motor abilities, motor abilities, but music is a joyous, joyful thing that yes, just sort is. of brings, I mean, it brings me alive, I can yeah. tell you when I have if the chance to If you're having a bad day, it. you play your favorite song, yes. you know? Um, so, and, yeah. And we're blessed to have with us, and we actually have a music therapist, a neurological mu music therapist. Anna Marie Engelhard. Hi. How Thanks are for you? Me. I'm good. It's How are good you? It's good to have you here. Are you kidding? Ta what is music therapy? Describe it. Well, Jandel did a great explanation. Okay. So it's an allied health profession that uses music interventions to achieve non-musical goals. 
So here at Craig, that can look like using music to help patients with breast support or working on getting their speaking back or walking or motor mobility um, while keeping that holistic uh, mindset there for our patients. You know, it one makes of the, perfect sense. Ooh, one of the coolest things that I love seeing is when Anna Marie's walking through the hall with her guitar, yep. walking along folks in terms of getting some of that sensory oh. motor back and yep, just singing and it's just the coolest thing. Yeah, we're a thing. very musical hospital yes. here. We like it that way. These also require instruments though and other things that that you can't do without donations. They do. We rely so much on donations like tonight and I, I personally am just so grateful to everyone who donates because that's what keeps our program going and if you talk to our patient families who receive music therapy, it's such an important part of their stay and really helps them on their journey, their recovery. And I think you have somebody special to introduce us to, a success story. I'm so excited to introduce Kike. 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 Come on in. <laughs> Thank you. Kike wrote a song while in therapy? Yes, Purpose. Purpose. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us how this came about. I mean, I, it sounds like music made you realize what, was, what you could do, what you still, the gifts you still have. Yes, yes. So, and during your brain injury, like, changed a lot of things for me. Like, I began to see beauty in everyone, everything, and everywhere. But then with me, I saw brokenness. So, mm. writing the song, I was able to see the beauty I still had inside and let that grow inside me and like let it foster and let it just shine and glow and I'm here. So You're here. How yeah. exciting is that for you, Anne Marie, to see that? I mean to see that like somebody like that find the beauty. It is. It's so special. And you know, with Kike we started working on breast support and then we were able to shape it into focusing yeah. on that internal part of you. Um, and then you created this beautiful song. How does it feel when you sing? It feels um feels uh, very like full of passion, full of life and full of like possibilities, you know, just growth, it. yeah. Well, you know, I think we're in for a special treat now, aren't we? I'm told that you're going to perform for us, right? Yes, so yeah. we're going to let you all dance over <laughs> there, if you will, and give us and a special performance. Yes, I'm going to let in Kike introduce the title of his song. Okay, the song is Purpose. We'll be performing that for you today. Yay. We can't wait. Can't wait. Okay. Can't wait. Yeah. And they're going to set up right now. They're going to head over that way, which is why, trust me, when you hear this song, if you haven't donated right now, you're going to want to watch the whole song. But you might want to do it at the same time. So, and the auction items are there right now live. Um, just click on the auction button on your screen or browse. Bidding is open until the end of the program. And don't forget, you can donate directly. First of all, you can always click on that donate button on your screen, anytime. You can text PUSH 2021-276-278. Or you can call us and talk to one of our Craig volunteers and make your own donation over the phone, 303-789-8650. Remember, we are trying to reach that goal of 500,000 tonight for that half million dollar match. We know we can do this, but uh, you just have to stop whatever you're doing right now and listen to Kike and Emory. Didn't know that I can be someone I never knew I hit rock bottom so hard I was praying for you Took me a while to mend the scars from my wounds I'm so thankful for the things that I have been through I broke all of me for the hope to renew Time to own it, metamorphosis Now I know what my purpose is I'm here to shine, I'm here to grow I'm here to glow, I'm here to stay, I'm here now, I'm here now. The 
the storm has cleared, it's over. Now that I'm finally sober, I'm here now stronger than ever. Thought I was gone forever. Healing from my past to start over. Oh, time to own it, metamorphosis. Now I know what my purpose is. I'm here to shine. I'm here to grow, I'm here to glow, I'm here to stay, I'm here now, I'm here now. Tissues before. Tissues. PK, we are so proud of you. I have he's, to give you a hug. He's, he's Craig's <laughs> Ed Sheeran, oh. I think, or better. I mean, you're a superstar. Oh, we are so know, proud of you. you. That do. was beautiful. Thank you. And, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Superstar. Now you see what happens with music therapy. Just one example of the patients who has benefited from unique therapies. Um, we're gonna see so much more of KK. Yes. Um, <laughs> so many of these programs would not be possible without donor support. And many of you have already been so generous. And so let's look at our screen for some of the partial donor lists. We've got Sandy Monteco Sherman and Mary and George Sissel. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Olivia Thompson, John and Patricia Robb. Teresa Van de Bogart, one of our wonderful foundation board members. Doak Jakeaway, a former board member and great lover of Aww. Craig. And the Rifkin family. And the Rifkins. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. And we think uh, many more of you are going to want to donate after hearing that song. It's just purpose. I'm The here perfect now. name. A few different ways. As we said, you can always just click the button. That's super easy. You can also text PUSH2021, remember 2021, uh, to 76278 and call 303-789-8650. Our volunteers are there. Remember, we want that $500,000 match. We want to meet that from the Brian Richardson family. They were so generous. Um, so if we could just at least raise $500,000 tonight. And don't forget to get your bids in early on the auction items, although please stay away from the ones I want. <laughs> Sorry, Anthony, I bid. <laughs> you can bid on packages ranging from jewelry to restaurants to travel getaways. Right, all kinds of travel gifts and dinner packages and golf and uh, many donated by Peter Kudla. Yeah, Peter, he, you know, by the way, he is a true gourmet chef. I've is had he? the privilege and honor of having, I'm not kidding, the best meal I've ever had in my really? life sitting at Peter's wonderful, wonderful home. And one of the things that he's offered is to prepare a five course dinner for 12 of your guests at a private res residence featuring cocktails and wine to complement your meal. 
And of course, the entertaining Peter. Maybe he'll bring the. I was just just saying. I think Peter. he may bring the flamingo out or or ride in on a Peter bike. Peter fills the room. <laughs> just <laughs> Peter. <laughs> yes. And don't forget about your private, uh, your own private golf course tournament that you can have at Sanctuary, the beautiful Sanctuary. Yeah, some good stuff. So, it's time to hear some more successful Craig graduate stories. We're going to hear from Brian Brown and his wife Alice and Samson Briggs. And these stories are brought to you by Sintrinsic Investment Council and the Angelina and Gerlando Trien, wait, yep. Traina. Yes, Traina. Traina. Yeah, yes. Okay, I apologize, I've got it, I really do. But you get your name announced more five times this way. Traina family. Yes. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Samson Briggs and I'm a Craig Hospital graduate. In June of 2016, I suffered a severe traumatic brain injury that was a result of a workplace accident. I was then an inpatient at Craig Hospital for approximately two months and then an outpatient for about four months. I now am a fall protection specialist and perform field sales and training for workplace fall protection for the company of 3M. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Craig Hospital's Push Gala, and more importantly, for your support. Without Craig Hospital, my life would be a whole lot different. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alice Brown, and this is my husband, Brian Brown, and he was a patient at Craig Hospital. I suffered a traumatic brain injury in 2006 while cycling Mount Evans. I was treated for about nine months at Craig Hospital. His outcome was remarkable. We now live in a small town in Kansas and stay extremely active and love being retired. So please be generous and give to Craig Hospital. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Bush has always supported research for spinal cord and brain injury. Craig is also designated as a national research hospital by the National Institute on Disability Rehabilitation and Research. Our amazing research staff of 26 is on the forefront of a variety of groundbreaking and experimental research projects and are frequently published in peer-reviewed journals. So I want to come with me and let's take a closer look at the research going on right now under our roof. Craig Hospital's research department, established in 1974, conducts high quality research to promote optimal health, independence, and life quality for people affected by spinal cord and brain injury. With a $6 million annual budget, the department relies on funding from federal and state agencies and generous donors. At Craig, we are translating clinical questions from bedside observations, therapy gyms, and the community into research that answers the questions our patients, families, and staff are asking. Craig has many translational research lines currently in progress. Several studies are looking at wheelchair seating, positioning, and mobility. Many Craig patients use a wheelchair following discharge and a recently completed pilot study shows that solid backrests, instead of padded, improve postural alignment, function, and mobility. A current study is evaluating the impact of axle position and frame type on efficiency with hemi propulsion. Data gathered in this study could help Craig clinicians advocate to insurance companies to ensure that patients receive the best type of chair for their needs. Craig conducted a pilot study using transcutaneous spinal cord stimulation in seven individuals with tetraplegia. This process involves placing electrodes on the skin directly over the spinal cord. The frequency pushes the stimulation into the cord and essentially increases excitability of the nervous system. We found that the majority of the study subjects were able to increase both upper and lower extremity function. Moving that line of research forward, we are currently involved in a multi-center study focused on improving upper extremity function to assist 
with FDA clearance for the device. Currently underway, a pilot study is comparing treadmill training paired with virtual reality to locomotive training alone in comparison to standard care physical therapy objectives. Using a donor-funded C-mill treadmill, we can project objects onto the treadmill and on the screen in front of the patient. The goal is to determine if engaging both cognitive and motor components of the nervous system can help improve recovery for patients with brain injury. The Wide Pulse Functional Electrical Stimulation Pilot Study looked at the benefit of providing outpatients with electrical stimulation in addition to exercise training. Initial data from this pilot study found that patients who received the intervention saw significant improvements in upper extremity strength, function, and trunk stability. This promising data will lead to a larger study looking at the efficacy of the intervention as part of the Spinal Cord Injury Model Systems Grant. We know that research drives practice, and practice drives research at Craig. Through our translational research program, our clinicians can take what they learn and either expand their inquiry or apply that learning immediately to enhance the care we provide to patients. And none of this work would be possible without the support of generous donors to the Craig Foundation. Thank you to the Anna and John J. C. Foundation for presenting that video. The results of this type of research are put into practice right away at Craig, and that means Craig patients and families directly benefit from the work that the research team does every day, allowing for patients and individuals around the world to live better and more independent lives. This kind of promising research can't happen without the support of donors like you. So we need you to help continue this important work. You can make a gift by using the links on your screen, texting PUSH 2021 to 76278, or call our friendly volunteers 303-789-8650. We are trying to get to that $500,000 goal and meet that match from the Brian Richardson family tonight. They have pledged to match a half million dollars if we can get to that goal. So if we get our phones to ring and our texts to ding, we can do it. A huge thank you to all of you who have already made a gift. And look at these names on the screen. The Maurice Marciano Family Foundation, Ken and Lori DeAngelis, Randy and Tammy, remembering Dane, Jenny and Mark, Steve and Nancy, and Julie and Rick. All of you, thank you so much. You've been a part of this. We also want to check in with the photo board as you're enjoying this evening. We know there's some, some good pictures. There's a good friend, Danny O'Malley and the Glazer family. Look at everybody, even the dog. And Marco, smiling. Everyone's having a blast tonight. Ann and Gary, um, I like their house, beautiful. John and Patricia Robb, and they've got Ben and Amy. So they've got a groups going together tonight with us. And look at this group, a big group of folks together. Tom and Michelle and Jandel's jumping up and down. She knows everybody here. Ben and Elizabeth. Um, these are great pictures. They got the flamingo in there. Okay, Peter's family. Look at that. How many folks there, Peter, and you're not even cooking. I don't get it. You must have left them with something to eat. Oh, and look at it. We've got Dr. DiRio. DiRio, is that how I say that? DiRio? Look at him. Got the flamingos. A good doctor. Uh, Christian and Dylan, we love these photos. These are coming in great. And Robin, more flamingos. Lots of flamingos in that picture there. Um, I think Peter got something started. What can we say? So if you've attended PUSH in the past, you know that one of the highlights of the evening is the traditional paddle raise. The paddle raise itself benefits Craig's patient assistance fund. And the money raised for the patient assistance fund provides a financial safety net for patients. Those with minimal income or inadequate insurance, which many don't have the right amount, the fund helps these people with everything from the purchase of equipment like a wheelchair to shower chair to a home remodel for accessibility and other emergency financial needs. The patient assistance fund even helps to temporarily pay for mortgages or utility bills when a patient or a family member cannot work due to the injury. One patient who benefited is Meredith Berkowitz from St. Louis. Less than a year ago, Meredith was swimming in her backyard pool when everything went black. Here's her story.
July 4th, 2020, I was swimming. The last thing I remember is swimming forward, and the next thing I remember is I woke up face down, unable to move my arms and legs. The first time I saw her, she was laying in a gigantic bed with tubes and wires. It was scary. She couldn't communicate with us. You know, you pray a lot. As a mom, I couldn't, I just couldn't hug her. In an extremely overwhelming situation, Craig just provided this feeling of, of care and comfort and just support, like endlessly. So it wasn't just like, you got this, it was, let me help you figure out how you can do it. Even though I wasn't able to do things the way I did it before, doesn't mean I wasn't able to do them. Leaving Craig, of course, was a terrifying thought. Some of that fear was eliminated because I knew I had a, a bathroom that was modified for me to easily function in when I got home. The Craig Foundation very generously helped my family out and give money to modify our bathroom, which is now got a roll-in shower, a sink with a cabinet that I can roll under. It's got the safety bar, a removable head for the shower. It's my favorite room in the house. <laughs> because the Craig Foundation let us shape the house to me instead of me having to figure it out. It's so crucial to have a space like that. It is so important to have a space like that because it makes you feel human. It makes you feel more able. It makes you feel less disabled. It makes you feel whole, as whole as you can be after feeling like you've lost so much of you. When I found out that I was going to get a wheelchair and it was covered by the foundation, like, I mean, that was everything to me. It was like, almost like this trophy of, of hope. For me, using a manual chair makes me feel strong and independent and, and powerful, really. She's worked really hard over the last six months in the hospital, and then now that she's been home, several months. I am able to be social and be in a lot of places and and move around with a lot of ease. Oh, the transformation that Meredith has made from July 4th, 2020 to till now is an amazing journey. My decision to go to Craig was probably the best decision I could have made for myself. I met some of my best friends there, and they made me feel more me than I've ever felt before. For the donors out there, I just want, I just want them to know that they allowed a 31-year-old woman to feel like a 31-year-old woman. I just, I can't even put into words how appreciative I am. Craig is like a big manger and um, you just feel people, people's love and true caring and their knowledge is incredible and it's a safe space. Just always, yes, donate because you have no idea the impact it could make on someone's life. You have no idea. Even if it's just something so small, it could make, it could make someone's entire world different.
Meredith, thank you for sharing your story. You've given us a lot of reasons to donate tonight and a special thank you to Stainberg Group for presenting Meredith's story. I can't believe it hasn't even been a year. So I want to introduce Bridget Myers. She is a clinical care, care manager and Bridget worked closely with Meredith. So you know Meredith and her family well and helped her get this assistance that she needed. So when we talk about patient assistance and Meredith said it was so important that people donate to make you feel whole, make you feel normal. How do these funds make a difference for the patients? Um, many patients come to us after catastrophic injuries and they just don't realize how little their insurance is gonna do for them and how great their needs are gonna be. And the foundation helps us, uh, helps us fill the gaps and helps us um, create that really um, full plan for a patient and family so they can go home and go back to the community and finish out the recovery and really believe that everything's possible. Yeah, just looking at her and like you said, when she said, you know, you, in, she loves the bathroom. I mm -hmm. mean, all of us, that's a kind of a sacred space for many of us. We spend a lot of time there and yes. we want to feel good and happy. Yeah, and I remember working with Mary and Meredith about with that and it was just a, a beautiful moment when they realized that she could go home and have that space and live with her mom in the community. And shower and do everything. That's yeah. awesome. Bridget, thank you. We really appreciate that. Um, again, generous people like you and patients and their families then received more than $1.4 million in assistance last year. Um, think of Meredith and how great her life is and how well she's doing. That money came exclusively from donors. Because we are not holding our tradition paddle raiser, the traditional thing, we need your help tonight. We're gonna fill that fund and we have some very big news to announce right now. Tonight, we have already received a $300,000 donation from the Galena Foundation, in addition, in addition to the half million dollar match from the Brian Richardson family and the $250,000 match from Jim and Bette Schuler. So, Peter, we are crushing it. We you are did a great job. Crushing, crushing, crushing. crushing. You know, I, I also had the great privilege of meeting Meredith uh, and her mom in St. Louis, with my good friend Mikey Steinberg. Uh, we saw the direct impact of funding and how it's improved her life. I've also had the privilege of chatting with Marco, Alex, John, and many other patients. They're just some of the patients who. Craig treats every year. I also met with Jeff Richardson and heard the story about his son Brian's story. Like Jeff, I want to encourage you to help patients and families. I just got off the telephone with my business partner, Jim Schuler, who donated $250,000 earlier and we made the match. He's been so inspired by the stories he's watched this evening that he and his wife, Bet have pledged an additional $500,000. I, uh, I send my love out to you guys. Yeah. I'm also going to kick in the rest to get us to a million bucks between Jim, Bet, and myself. Thank you, Peter. Uh, we're just trying to make a difference for Craig, and we want to tell everyone thank you for the privilege. Thank you. You're so generous. But you do it because you have a huge heart, but you believe. You believe in what they're doing here at Craig. And you see the lives that have changed. And you know what? They've made our lives a whole lot better. We're blessed to know everyone here. We are blessed. We are coming to the end of our evening, so it's time to make your gift. Let's go big. Let's Boom. go big or go Boom. home, people. Okay, use the links on your screen. Text PUSH 2021 to 76278. I think I'm going to dream about that number. Come on, people, you can do this. And you can also call 303-789-8650. We have been asking you all night to send in your photos. You've been sending us some great photos, giving us a look at what you're up to, how you're enjoying this evening. And, and look, we're seeing more of them. Hey, Lloyd and Carrie, how you doing? I know, how you doing? 
John and Judy, Judy and Don. Look at them. And Jay. Jake Berg, baby. Give us the best of the Bergs. Betsy and Rick. I love it. Oh, Jerry and Madison. Oh, everybody's having such a good time. Frank hey, and Lori. Hey, Oh, hey. thank you. <laughs> Jim and Kim. Yeah. I like that. Boom, boom. And boom, boom. <laughs> and, and Bryce. Bryce. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at this big Mary, group. we send your love. Wow, look at them. They're beautiful. And Reagan, Reagan yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love <laughs> that's it. We hey. got that's the best. Okay, just saying we have some great pictures out there. And we know you're having a good time, but we thank you for taking the time to join us. Um, so don't forget about that auction. It's sponsored by GE Johnson. There's some really cool things. Then you can kind of feel really connected. Things are winding down quickly, but we will continue to accept bids until the end of the program. We have a ton of incredible items, including two great adventure travel packages. Okay, let's talk about this one again. Makarachian. 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 The Makarachian family. Has donated a six day, five night Montana ranch vacation for four. Four. So this is cool, but it's a Lone Mountain Ranch in Yellowstone country. Off the charts. I mean, uh, Kevin Coster is probably going to roll up and say hello. You know how many folks um, from New York want to go there? A ton. Um, uh, this farm to table cuisine, a sleigh ride, oh gosh, evenings around a glowing wood stove, miles of cross country ski terrain, so much more. You can bid on this adventure cruise also to Alaska, donated by Richard Chatfield. And then we got some Southeast Al Alaska. Alaska? Yeah, you got to go to Alaska. Eight days. I thought that was in the Northwest. I don't know. Let's talk about the experience. It's eight okay. days. Well, eight days, seven nights. I'm not, I'm not to do my uh, geography eight right days, now. seven <laughs> nights expedition from Lindblad Expeditions in National Geographic. It's a small ship. It hosts 100 guests. You'll explore a whole bunch of cool areas, tidewater glaciers, islands. I mean, you'll probably see a bear. Boom. Boom. Something else. You could learn a lot more about these packages by clicking the auction link on your screen. So come on, go somewhere, go to Mexico, go to Alaska, go to Wyoming, go somewhere special. Bring um, me. <laughs> bring Peter, have dinner with Peter. Boom. That, that's- Bring a, Peter and he'll cook the fish. Oh my, I see what the, that we've got a whole plan here. Uh, we have come to the end of the push evening. It's been a really great night. We have heard from our past Craig graduates who are living the dream, as they say. We've seen some great stories on how your donations directly help our patients and our families that are around the country. We have learned about the exciting research being done here at Craig, where they're pioneering efforts to help patients live more independent and fulfilled lives. And while the Craig team is still processing all the gifts, we're pretty excited to announce that PUSH has already Drum raised rolls. more than $3, three million. million. And we have met all of our challenge matches. So oh that blows out the previous oh record, oh completely out gosh. of the water, oh and, and we're doing it, guys. I mean, these, <laughs> first of all, I'm feeling their energy, they're because they've been it. riding the bikes all they're night. Oh, but good job. we're gonna do it. And I we mean, couldn't have done this without Art Sign's vision 20 years ago. No. So again, Art, thank you, thank you so, so much, and to the memory of Julie. You know, when we talked about going virtual uh, this year, uh, we were worried that we'd lose some of the traditional push magic. But you know, I can tell you, we've experienced a different kind of magic. In fact, yesterday making rounds and handing out the push boxes, thank you again, Berg Simpson, um, I realized we're gonna have a house party and that's what's going on upstairs. And this gives me a chance to thank our wonderful, able nurses, our techs, our respiratory therapists, our pharmacists who are working this weekend. And also to you families up there who I hope had the chance to watch, as well as those of you at home who've been watching. Thanks for everything you do. Hope this has brought a bit of spark here at Craig. And I'll tell you something, we got work to do because we've got to figure out for next year uh, how we're going to do all this. Kim, I want to thank you. Oh, I'm so I happy really to do want to thank, thank you. you for being a great host tonight. Thank you. I've been here many times doing news stories, and I've never left here not feeling a little bit like a better person, because yeah. there's some pretty special people here, and the staff here, and the people here, and the patients. They are. We need more of you in the world. We Thank need you. more. So what Thank do you got you. going next year? Big plans? Well, we've great. got great plans for next <laughs> okay. year. We hope to be back in person in April of 2022. Okay. okay but we're going to try to figure out how to bring the house 
down, up, around, and in to okay. the room with us. And we're going to be honoring two Craig graduates, Austin Brotman with the Spirit of Craig Award. Hi, Austin. I hope you folks are watching, Shelley, and your family. And then the world record bike racer, Lauren DeCrescenzo with the, I'm like, what's with the name? De Crescenzo. I did say it, with the Impact Award. Torina, you didn't have to say. I didn't have to That's say. Before we say <laughs> goodnight, say it again now. <laughs> this is our last call for donations. Hit Click it. that donation button right Hit now. It. If you've enjoyed the show, you understand all of the great things Craig can do. Click that <laughs> button, give. What can you give? Small, big, medium. Doesn't matter. Everything helps. Don't forget the auction will end when we sign off tonight. But donations can be made after the fact. And if you want to donate to Craig in another way, there are two awesome Craig events coming your way this summer. First, the Craig Golf Tournament, sponsored by Remax, is on Wednesday, August 11th. Wednesday, August 11th. Put it right into your calendar. There are just about five sponsorships left, so you got to get those. And then we have our pedal for possible. If you've heard anything tonight, you have heard possible. Come ride your bike with us through scenic byways and throughout uh, Boulder County on Saturday, September 18th. You're going to see beautiful vistas and you're going to meet a lot ride. of really beautiful people. Join us. So Craig many different hospital. ways. Hospital.org forward slash foundation. All Thank of you. those things. We hope you'll join us at one of those things. Um, meet everyone in the coming year and be together next spring. But I think y'all pulled this off pretty well. Um, we did it. it sounds like a lot of fun. We did it. Thank we you, everybody. Thanks to the Thanks foundation's to team. Mm -hmm. You guys rock this one. Thank you. Yeah, you did.